Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2020 and part 2 of Season 1 of the Bolton Wanderer. In today's episode, we have two matches for you. We're taking on Tranmere Rovers and Doncaster Rovers, both in Skybet League 1. Looking to record our first league victory of the season. Thank you for all the support on episode 1, it was amazing uh, to be back and it's good to see that some of you guys that have watched my FM content throughout the years are still knocking about somewhere on the channel and it's uh, it's nice to see a few new faces down there as well in the comments section. So uh, let's just take you quickly through uh, what's happened since the last episode. We uh, lost 1-0 to Coventry unfortunately, 91st minute goal, very unlucky not to get our first Point of the season there, uh, Zane Westbrook with a very good goal uh, towards the end of that match. And then we lost against all journeyman boys, Fleetwood, uh, on penalties. It was a shocking shootout. We were 1-0 up and then Joe Bunny got uh, sent off in the 67th minute. And I mean, we were lucky to hang on in normal time, to be quite honest with you. But we missed all three of our penalties. They scored them all. Chet Evans... There he is, the man, the myth, the legend. We did actually sign him for Fleetwood, I think. Um, back in FM 18, it would have been now, when we were manager of Fleetwood. Uh, but yeah, he scored the winning penalty. And uh, it still means that we are winless so far. But we will try and try again until we succeed. So, uh, we did actually bring in a couple of transfers since... Uh, I saw you last. So Luke Dre has come in from Crystal Palace on loan. He looks like a decent young player. Uh, decent attributes over here. 20 year old Englishman. Valued at 775k. We've brought him in on loan. Only 800 quid a week. Out of the wage budget. We'll see how he gets on. He made his first Premier League start last year. So we'll see uh, what sort of player he is. A bit of midfield depth. Never goes amiss. Uh, we also brought in Ellis Hudson. Uh, more of a, a one for the future this. This is one that the, the, the assistant recommended. Uh, he's come in from uh, a free transfer. And once again, not on much. 350 quid a week. He's got a couple of decent attributes in there. He's already 20 years old. That's a big problem. But a bit of depth for our reserve squad. And uh, you never know. He might he might come good in, um, in a couple of seasons or whatever. Uh, maybe if he has a good... Loan spell out somewhere, but uh, today we are taking on Tranmere Rovers. We are going to stick with uh, this 4 1 2 2 1 uh, formation. Still struggling with that Christmas tree. So I guess it's not quite a Christmas tree, is it? But you know, it sort of looks like it. Um, but yeah, looking forward to, to getting into the match. Still haven't really fiddled with the, the, the instructions yet. I'm trying to get a bit of a feel for this Bolton Wanderers team, see what will work. I've been tweaking a little bit in the matches, um, and as you've seen, we've had better performances. We should have got a point against Coventry, and uh, other than the, the sending off in the uh, EFL Cup, we would have won that. So hopefully... Third time lucky today, and, and we managed to, to, to come good against Tranmere Rovers away from home. That's going to be the only uh, stumbling block today, I think, is, is that we're away from home, and <sighs> that's where we're going to struggle this season. But we'll try our best, and uh, we'll, we'll head out there with our same intention. Be cautious, try and soak up some, pr some pressure, lump it up to Daryl Murphy, and hope that he's got his shooting boots on. Uh, today that is basically our only tactic at the moment I did try and sign Eduardo the former Arsenal uh, strike and actually did agree a deal with him four grand a week um, wages but unfortunately we didn't have enough money to pay his signing on fee so uh, that one's just gonna have to wait I mean it probably would have been a silly amount of money to spend on him anyway I've already looked at Paul Glatzel uh, the old boy from the last two journeymans um, Became the record Premier League goal scorer in one of my saves. Uh, but yeah, he's injured till April 2020, so that certainly won't be happening this season. But he has Chickson on this left-hand side. Good positive start from us on the ball so far. He has right. Boots it forward. He has Valinden on the right-hand side. Gets it in. He has Murphy, and that's wide, and that's not what we want to see. We need Daryl Murphy to be scoring tons of goals this season if we are to stay up. And I think the board want us to stay up. That's the that's the big problem. They want us to stay clear of a relegation battle. 
and that is just going to be surely too too tough to to pull off. The burger vans are there in earnest. Villinden's got himself a burger and he whips it in, and it's not a very good one. I thought the extra grease might have just helped him out there, but no. Here's Murphy. Now to Emmanuel. Emmanuel on this right hand side. What's he going to do? Gets it to Luke Murphy, and that's over the bar. Disappointing, really, to, to blow that opportunity right there. But we are actually doing really well so far. Here's Emmanuel. Now Bridcut. Here's Luke Murphy, and it's blocked by our own player. I mean, that's just pathetic. <laughs> but look at these stats 64% possession. It was for a second there. Yeah, I promise you, if you track back in the video, it was 64 for a second. Uh, can't promise it will be that again, but yeah, I'll take it. Oh, how did he keep that in? Come on! What a ridiculous goal that is. Rushy and Hepburn Murphy with the goal. And, I mean, I don't know how they kept this in. It, I mean, it's just a boot forward by Potter. How on earth it didn't go out, I'll never know. And it comes off his back. Then we kick it off him. Then he brays it past the goalkeeper. Hits the post. Stops dead on the line. And just roll, trickles over. And, well, I mean, it just about sums everything up, doesn't it? He has uh, whoever into the middle. That's a header just over the bar. But not a lot of support again. It's... We need more support than this from the fans. We need the fans to be getting behind us. Um, assertive. Expect to see much better. I mean, we played well. You know, we had a couple of chances, didn't take them, and that's going to happen. Oh, we just need a bit of luck on our side. I think once we get a few points on the board, hopefully we'll be able to flow a bit more. But we've just got such a big pressure with. Uh, with 12 points deducted, it's, you know, we have to get off to a good start. Otherwise, we're just going to be further and further cut adrift. Um, Morris, Potter, boots it forward. Oh, could have been and probably should have been 2-0 there. 55 minutes gone. I think we're going to have to get creative in this one. 63 minutes. Will Buckley's going to come off for Politic. Daryl Murphy's going to come off for Dudu. Uh, who's an advanced forward? He's an inverted winger, apparently. Or better inverted winger than anything else. Uh, I mean, other than that, I think we just gotta just got to keep going at this stage. Try and be positive in the way we play. We're only 1-0 down at the moment. All right, let's get the latest scores down. Let's get the uh, league table up. It's not pretty reading for us at the moment. 13 points adrift of 20th place Rochdale. Of course, only three uh, teams getting relegated in this current season because of Berry's expulsion from the league. Uh, oh, here's Valinden with a free kick. A bit of magic. That's all we needed there. It didn't happen. Uh, right. Attacking. Show some passion, boys. Five minutes to go. Come on. Come on, lads. Let's do this. Come on. It's not going to happen, is it? And again, we're narrowly beaten. On another day, we could have won this 2 0, but that's the way it goes, unfortunately. It's another defeat and another game without a goal in the league. It's not quite going our way at the moment and that just sort of sums it up you know what well, minus 12 only conceded four goals so I, I, you know, I think we gotta we gotta take some positives out of that we're now going to be at home against Doncaster Rovers who've got off to a, a very good start of the season they're in fourth place at the moment so let's go and give them a batter and put them in their place well, a couple of changes for this Doncaster Rovers match then. Uh, we've brought in Jack Hobbs into play. James Weir has come on for his first start of the season as well. Might stick him in as an advanced playmaker, actually. We're at home, so let's go for it a little bit more. Might switch that a positive 
in fact. Um, Politic and Valinden have come in as well. And I've brought in Eddie Brown onto the bench. Now, Eddie Brown uh, has had a very good start the season in the reserve squad. Six goals in six starts. So, we'll give him a go. Uh, hopefully towards the end of the match and, and see what sort of energy he can bring. You know, I think if we can stumble across a, a really good youth player this year that can sort of lead us, uh, you know, that we won't complain about that. Uh, any all uh, golden oldies in this uh, Doncaster Rovers squad? I don't see any. Mm, Alex Baptiste? Uh, not exactly a, a golden oldie, is he? Maybe more just like an oldie. But, yeah. Uh, getting into the match then. Doncaster Rovers. It's going to be an interesting one. Whether we can win this match. Um, you know, we're at home. I, th I think our home matches, are, we're, we're going to have to make the most of them. You know, there's, there's what, 20, 21 of them this season. So we've got a... Or tw 22 home matches this season. We've got a penalty. Look at that. Daryl Murphy's going to step up. Is he going to get his first league goal of the season? He steps up. And he scores! Yes! Daryl Murphy with his second goal of the season because he did score one in the EFL Cup match. But that's a great finish into the bottom corner there from Daryl Murphy. Keeper was nowhere near it. And it's 1-0 after seven minutes. We're ahead. Our first league goal. Come on the Bolton! This is what we need. We need a bit of Peter K inspiration. <laughs> he has... Uh, I think that was Bunny there. He has Weir. Weir switches the player. Now he has Politic. Forward to Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Politic. Emmanuel again into the middle. It's 2 0. Daryl Murphy again doubles his tally. That is what we're talking about. And hardly anybody's turned up for it. But we're 2 0 up after 18 minutes. Let's not get too carried away. But what a start. What a start. And uh, what a header from Murphy there. And a great save uh, initially from the goalkeeper. But Murphy was there for the rebound. What, why have we got a secondary play? Uh, oh. Was he offside? Who knows? Who knows? I don't think there's VAR in League One. But I have no idea what was going on there. Uh, but I quite like that. If, if it's shown you whether it was offside or not. It means I don't like... Won't be embarrassing in the press conferences when I'm claiming things that uh, didn't happen. <laughs> Header over the bar. But uh, I'll tell you what I do need to get rid of. Uh, the notifications. don't like them. So it's going to be Coppinger into the middle. Off the line. A little bit jittery there, but we're, we're alright. We've survived it. I tell you what, this is nosebleed territory for us. Cotman J into the middle, header over the bar. And it's such a shame that we've got that points deduction because you know if we didn't, we'd be moving up to, to 18th position today, which I think is, you know, it shows how much work we've got to put in. We've got to make up four wins over the other lot uh, this season to to stay up. Um, yeah. You might be winning, but uh, it could all change, to be perfectly honest. And, it, and we've seen it happen before. You're 2-0 up at half-time and you lose 3-2. It, it, it happens more often than not with football manager. Especially when you're the underdog. But here we go. Common Jack. Now to Blair on this right-hand side. Taylor. Blair. Had a good save. Good save from Mr. Anik. In the goal there. Right. I'll tell you what we could do with Alex Baptiste right now. To go right back. Um, mm, I'm going to put Hobbs out there on the right. Uh, or would, bro, would he be better? Doesn't look like it, does it? What about right? Oof. I think uh, Brockbank was the, the best of the lot. It's not easy, but Emmanuel's just knackered, so we've got to do something. Whiteman. Chief. 
was a little bit too close there, too close for comfort. So Peterborough United there in twentieth place, no, not like them. Oxford top of the table at the moment, four wins in four. Fleetwood up there as well, which is good to see. Sunderland have, have come back um, from their day one defeat. Doncaster back in the match though. Donovan Daniels, or Donovan I suppose it is. Cotman Jay into the middle and that was just too easy. Unmarked. Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Oof. Um, what do we do here? And James Weir's got to come off. He's feeling apprehensive. So um, we'll bring on our new sign in Luke Dreher. Give him a run out in this last 15 minutes or so. Can we hang on? would be such a big result for us. A big confidence boost if we can hang on to this three points. Oh, they switch the play and we're just sitting off them too much here. They've got so much space to work with. Oh, that should have been 2-0. <laughs> really should have been at 2 all. sorry. James. Now Thorpe. Sadler. Thorpe. James. Sadler. Thorpe, oh, great block. Politic, mm. look at this though. We're being dominated now. We got off to such a good start in this match. And now we're just on the back foot. But here's Valinden. We could put it to bed here. Valinden, bridge cut. It's a chance, Bunny. Come on, Bunny. Come on. Just cross it. I'm sure I've got hit early crosses on. He has Drea. Oh my god. What on earth was that? Five minutes to go. Come on. Let's hang on. Hang on to this. We'll go very defensive now. Park the bus. Four minutes of extra time. Urgh. This is going to go wrong. They're going to score. Oof. That was a wasted opportunity. They were in our half. They had space. Oh, not again. Not again. What a save from Anik there. You are a hero, Ben. Into the middle again. Dreher away, the new sign. And here's Whiteman. Into the middle right away. The passion is glorious. Daryl Murphy kicks it away. Two seconds to go. Come on. Blow the whistle, ref. Blow the whistle. Oh, that hit the top of the net. I think that's it. It is. Come on. Yes. First victory. That is what we are talking about. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Look at uh, the, uh, the stats, though. <laughs> 26 shots for Doncaster. They will feel very hard done by, I think. Um, but... We won't mind. We'll take that any day of the week. First victory. First victory of Football Manager 2020. Yeah, 20. It's weird getting used to that. I was trying to get out of the way of the achievement, but it didn't show up anyway. Uh, but there you go. The first step. We're now only uh, 10 points from safety, which you know it could be a lot worse at this stage. It could be 13 points, but... You know, first victory uh, of the season. And quite a good one. Doncaster played well. And, you know, we beat them 2-1. Uh, so we've got Ipswich and Gillingham coming up. Uh, got the Leeson.com trophy. I think this one looks like a nice little... Ooh, Oxford and Sunderland. That's going to be a tough, tough um, <laughs> couple of games there. Currently top of the league, Oxford. And then, of course, the league favourite, Sunderland. So I think we'll come back for that double header at home in the next episode. Hopefully, we've got a whole bank of points. We're out of the relegation zone and everybody's happy by then. If you have enjoyed that, though, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for regular Football Manager 2020 content as well as a load of other stuff as well. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.